Taurus, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday, March the 22nd, 2021. These are general readings only, so do take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So it's Sunday today. Um, I go back to work next week, so I'm getting these readings done because on um, the other day I still had no internet, so I was uploading on my mobile but um, yes I now have internet all that drama if you've watched um, the last couple of weeks I've moved house and been drama after drama and um, it ends up that I've been able to piggyback off the front house phone so um, get internet connection there and re it reaches to me here in the granny flat so no technician and you know all this drama for technology it's like too many fingers in the pie I say um, of everybody trying to say yes you can do this yes you can do this yes you can do this and then it's like no you actually can't <laughs> so <laughs> but we're set, settled but for the week um, because some of the readings were still done just with the star temple being read from the card which I do usually read from the book at the end um, everybody's going to be staying the same so I will just be reading the card for that so yeah so that's how we're rolling this week and next week we will be back to normal I'm back at work next week my voice might be a bit croaky I went out last night my friend was filling in um, as a drummer for a band so I was singing at the top of my voice and yeah my voice is a bit croaky this morning <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway Taurus you get number 55 snake spirit time to heal I love this card because it's like snake sheds its skin, comes out as a brand new entity and I'm um, taking time for yourself to heal and allow, allow that outer layer to break down and come out fresh and ready to go. So Mutology Taurus. Okay, so you get the first quarter moon. Your commitment has been tested. It may be being tested by taking this time to heal because a lot of people really don't stand up and say, I need some time for myself. Okay, but you've got to look after number one first. Oh, my cards are stuck there. <laughs> doing I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> shuffling trying to shuffle it's better now we do this one okay so Taurus let's see 22nd to 28th of March 2021 overall put your sunglasses on you've got the sun overall love it sense of freedom sense of release of energy here that's not needed to bring in this happiness and joy overall for the week absolutely time to be healing beautiful past energies you've got the nine of swords the nine of cups and the prince of cups so a lot of overthinking a lot of stress and anxiety when it comes to love that was on offer here in the past for you maybe straight up that may be your commitment that is being tested there okay but brought a lot of overthinking and it may have been unnecessary overthinking like um it does happen like everybody like cogs turn and turn and turn and turn okay but that's your past energies your present energies you've got the two of pentacles queen of swords and the four of cups so by taking a different approach towards something it brought you back into balance brought you back into alignment there okay getting control back of that situation but um, you're still focused here on one particular cup or one particular energy there but it's saying shift your vision a bit and see what else is still happening around you because it may present better opportunities there 
future energies you get the princess of cups the eight of pentacles and the eight of swords okay so again there's love on offer here as well okay so, um coming in well you may be offering that to somebody but don't miss that opportunity yes you're focused and dedicated and very hard working but don't turn your back on everything that you miss the opportunity you feel like you're actually can't go any further this is it but um that's saying you know find other ways around things when obstacles are presented in front of you legally and morally i always say <laughs> okay but we'll see what each clarification has don't want to clarify the sun you've got that overall for the week that's brilliant don't think anyone's had that this time very hot in here I've got the front door open um, but I might actually just pause and go and put the aircon on okay I'm back so the aircon's on so there's a bit of a humming in the background but it's very hot in here right so now we'll clarify <laughs> got the sun as I said right overall for the week love that you've got the ten of wands judgment and the knight of wands Okay, so carrying this burden on your own, heavy weight on your shoulders that you've been carrying there. Okay, but keeping an open mind with that judgment card. Don't judge others. Don't let others judge you. There is people or things happening that are trying to throw you off course here. But you've got that determination and confidence to stay on board and see something through. Allowing you to receive that sun energy. Absolute happiness and joy there. Beautiful past energies you've got the nine of swords with the four of pentacles nine of swords again clarifying nine of swords and the hanged man yeah you're, you're hanging on to something here you're not wanting to step forward and get involved in a situation or make a clear direction of where you're going to be heading towards and that is it's causing a lot of stress and anxiety and overthinking of things especially with um double clarification with that nine of swords clarifying nine of swords it is causing a lot of stress and overthinking of things. This is in your past energies where you've been unsure of which way to go. Okay, we went into the Nine of Cups with the Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. There's love here. There's been love here in the past. Um, you know, very confident, very sure. Somebody on this journey with you may have been meeting somebody brand new to bring you that emotional happiness and stability that you're looking for with that. Because you also go into the Prince of Cups, which is next, with the Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this love may be an X, maybe a reconciliation, somebody wanting to come back, um, but you're not too sure because there's been a lot of gossip, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of hurt, and a lot of pain along the way. But there is an energy here wanting to come in and work with you. It's very slow moving. Um, you know maybe you, six of cups you're looking at fond memories as well or wanting that butterfly in your tummy's feeling you know and if it's new love that helps ease that ten of swords that cycles finishing it is in your past energies but um, it's coming to an end with that hurt and pain there um, but for others it may still be ongoing but that knight of pentacles is coming in to help ease that but again it's very slow moving okay so Taurus we'll go to your present energies you've got the two of pentacles with the page of wands the eight of swords and the strength card could be dealing with a Leo but you've got dreams that you can see coming towards you and um, it takes strength to move towards those dreams okay others of you you're feeling stuck you've got the eight of swords again which you finish with down here and um, it's talking about taking that blindfold off seeing that there's nothing standing in your way it takes strength to keep that movement going going into the queen of swords you get the six of pentacles nine of pentacles nine of cups okay success there's emotional happiness and success here okay but making sure that things are balanced equal give and take I always say if someone's doing all the taking and no giving then somebody else is doing all the taking and no giving so it's um it's got to work both ways You've got to make that balanced did i say that right did i say all the taking and no giving then no giving and taking i think i said the same thing 
okay but there is emotional happiness and there is success there right in front of you love it and clarifying queen of swords so taking a more direct honest approach towards some something or someone to get that success there okay so you've got this four of cups with the two of swords four of swords and the ace of wands yeah if there's this um you know this could be an apology on the cards whether again it's whether it's from this reconciliation card an ex trying to come back in whether that's you whether that's them this apology but you're doing a lot of self-healing love that okay but you're at a crossroads at times and you're not sure which way to go it's saying take the blindfold off okay you're clarifying the four of cups so you're very stuck vision wise with these two cards okay but take that blindfold off look at um, each path carefully of where you're going to be heading towards and and heading on to that new dream that new goal there okay so choice your future energies you get the princess of cups with the two of pentacles king of cups six of wands love it this victory here this victory maybe when it comes to love because you've got that king of cups but very proud of how far you've come but very stable emotionally happy and everything is happening for you there there's that victory outcome getting control of the situation back into play um you know we've maybe been pulled in different directions in the past getting that balance back beautiful love that okay so the eight of pentacles you get the page of cups ace of swords and the chariot could be dealing with um with a cancer but again there's love on offer here making a um making a brand new beginning cutting the crap out from the past that you don't need making a fresh new start here letting that chariot move forward and um not be pulled apart in different directions as we said before and not move anywhere it's ready to send you torpedo torpedoing is that a word <laughs> torpedo ford <laughs> and the eight of swords you get the queen of cups king of swords and the moon could be dealing with a pisces but um very worlds on the bottom just as i checked which way that was going um but yeah very proud of how far you've come emotionally okay using your head over your heart now thinking things through clearly and logically there's hidden fears about moving forward and about having to find other directions um around things to get to where you're going it may take a bit longer but and it might be straight up there where your commitment is being tested having to divert course to stay on that journey okay so we'll see what the um, universe has to say Yeah, the two of cups three of wands and the four of swords you may be seeing somebody for who they really are okay maybe a situation for what it really is but I think with the two of cups seeing someone for who they really are and it may actually be in a better light than what you thought they're on this journey with you four of swords overall snake spirit time to heal time to look after number one time to look after yourself step up and do this everybody does this everybody needs to do it at times it's so the biggest step is saying okay it's time for me okay so Taurus, we will see what the Star Temple has for you. As I said, I'll just read the card for this week. Next week we'll go back to reading this from the book. Mind you, I might get some new Oracle cards, but probably not until next week, which will be the following week's readings. I don't know, did that make sense? <laughs> Anyway, Taurus, you get number three, the winged messenger, creation. Spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. Love that. Knowing where you want to be, where you're wanting to be heading towards, and um, that spiritual direction, it's going to inspire you to head in, that, head in that direction. Okay? So love that. Anyway, so Taurus, that is what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there, and I will see you next time. See ya. Bye.